Hello, welcome to this week's topic, Hepatitis MCQ series. Let's move to our first question. Which organ does hepatitis affect? Option A, heart. Option B, brain. Option C, liver. Option D, kidney. And the answer is... Option C, liver. Let's move to question number 2. How many forms of viral hepatitis have been found so far? Option A, 3. Option B, 4. Option C, 5. Option D, 8. And the answer is... Option C, 5. Now let's move to question number 3. What are the symptoms of hepatitis? Option A, tiredness or fatigue. Option B, low fever. Option C, nausea. Option D, all of the above. And the answer is... Option D, all of the above. Now let's move to question number 4. This hepatitis virus is not an RNA virus. Option A, Hepatitis G virus. Option B, Hepatitis E virus. Option C, Hepatitis B virus. Option D, Hepatitis A virus. And the answer is... Option C, Hepatitis B virus. Now let's move to question number 5. This form of hepatitis could be passed by contaminated water or food. Option A, A and E. Option B, C. Option C, B. Option D, all of this. And the answer is... Option A, A and E. Now let's move to question number 6. Which form can exist for years without symptoms? Option A, Hepatitis B. Option B, Hepatitis C. Option C, Hepatitis D. Option D, all of the above. And the answer is... Option D, all of the above. Now let's move to question number 7. This nucleic acid is found in hepatitis B virus. Option A, DSRNA. Option B, SSDNA. Option C, SSRNA. Option D, DSDNA. And the answer is... Option D, DSDNA. Now let's move to question number 8. This can cause hepatitis. Option A, an improperly functioning immunosystem. Option B, alcohol and medicine. Option C, virus. Option D, all of these. And the answer is... Option D, all of these. Now let's move to question number 9. The most reliable detection test for hepatitis E is... Option A, HELISA test for Ig and HEV. Option B, polymerized chain reaction for detection of HEV RNA. Option C, western blood assay for IgM and HEV. Option D, a laser test for IgM and HEV. And the answer is... Option B, polymerized chain reaction for detection of HEV RNA. Now let's move to question number 10. Dash virus is known as enterovirus 72. Option A, hepatitis A. Option B, hepatitis E. Option C, polio. Option D, rota. And the answer is... Option A, hepatitis A. Now let's move to question number 11. Vaccines have been developed to protect against which hepatitis virus? Option A, A. Option B, B. Option C, D. Option D, A and B. And the answer is... Option D, A and B. Now let's move to question number 12. A blood test to confirm hepatitis. Doctors look for elevated amount of which of these? Option A, white blood cells. Option B, calcium. Option C, interferon. Option D, liver enzymes. And the answer is... Option D, liver enzymes. Now let's move to question number 13. This agent represents an isolate of hepatitis G virus. Option A, GBVC. Option B, GBVB. Option C, GBVA. Option D, none of the above. And the answer is... Option A, GBVC. Now let's move to question number 14. 
The disease exists in short term acute and long term chronic form. How long does the acute hepatitis last? Option A less than 6 months, option B less than 3 months, option C about 6 weeks, option D 1 month. And the answer is option A less than 6 months. Now let's move to our question number 15. Which of the following statement regarding hepatitis D virus that's HDV is more accurate? Option A. Alpha interferon can eradicate the latent state established by HDV. Option B. Immunization against HB virus will reduce the incidence of hepatitis caused by HDV. Option C. HDV has DNA as its genome and RNA dependent DNA polymerase in the virion. Option D. Laboratory diagnosis of HDV infection is made by growing HDV in the cells co-infected with HBV. And the answer is Option B. Immunization against HB virus will reduce the incidence of hepatitis caused by HDV. So that's all for today. If you need further clarification, Please comment in the comment box. I'll be back with a new topic next week. Thank you.